All right, what's up guys? Thanks for stopping by my channel. My name is John Bechtold and today we're going to be doing a video about how to shoot S-log footage and avoid the grain that a lot of people tend to complain about. So a lot of times when people are trying to expose S-log footage in camera, they'll end up uh, kind of underexposing it. So uh, when you get the skin tones looking decent in camera, a lot of times with the rest of the shot, you get a lot of noise. And sometimes when you end up trying to push it in post, you actually just get noise in the skin tones too. And the shot just looks mushy and there's a lot of grain, a lot of noise. It's just poor quality footage. Um, what a lot of people don't do is uh, overexpose a little bit. So really to properly expose S-log footage and avoid the grain, which is completely possible if you expose your footage correctly, you need to overexpose by about two stops. I always do one and a half to two stops. That's what I personally think works best and uh, what I've seen from my footage, but I've also heard of people overexposing by even two and a half stops. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you're going to want to shoot S-log footage, is uh, about two stops overexposed. That way you'll retain all the detail and avoid the noise that's kind of associated with S-log footage. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be awesome if you'd subscribe and stay tuned for future ones.